In this video, I want to talk about how we might be able to mimic the effects naturally of the popular weight loss drugs, the semaglutide drugs, things like Ozempic, Wagovi, Manjaro, and what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be talking about how those drugs actually mimic a natural process that goes on within the body and how we might be able to naturally stimulate that process without the drugs. But first, if you are interested in natural, healthy, permanent weight loss and you're ready to take an active role in the process, please take a couple minutes, download the brand new app from Apple or Android. You can take our quick five minute survey once you download it and it will let you know right away if one of our programs might be right for you. All right, so first let's talk about how semaglutide drugs, again, things like Ozempic, Wagovi, Manjaro actually work. So first they work by mimicking a natural gut hormone called glucagon-like peptide one, abbreviated GLP-1. It affects your brain to make you feel less hungry and to decrease your appetite. So basically it is an appetite suppressant. And the second thing these drugs do is they actually slow down your digestion. So they slow down the process of food moving through your gut. And in my opinion, this is not actually a benefit of the drugs. There's been lawsuits filed and I've done full videos on this, but lawsuits filed against the manufacturers of these drugs for what they're calling gut paralysis, meaning that your digestion, digestive system just stops working. So I don't think this is something that we would want to mimic, but certainly we can look at natural ways to mimic the appetite suppression component of these drugs. So very straightforward and simply what we need to do is we need to find a way naturally to elevate GLP-1. Again, this is what semaglutide drugs are mimicking in the brain to affect appetite. Fortunately, again, there is research that links a bunch of natural substances to this. I'm gonna give you the whole list and then kind of pare it down and based on the research and my experience, give you exactly what I think would be best. All right, so I'm gonna start by giving you every natural substance that has any research tying it to elevating GLP-1, and then I'm gonna pare it down, you know, based on the research and based on my experience to just what we use, what I think is best to have this GLP-1 stimulating effect. All right, here is the list. Berberine, curcumin, cinnamon, soybean, niacin, and then in my opinion, the most compelling research comes uh, on amino acids, specifically arginine, glutamine, and carnitine, and rhodiola, and calcium. So again, that's an exhaustive list. What do you actually do? Well, what we do in our office, I've pared this down to where we specifically use amino acids. I think that is most important, uh, niacin, and rhodiola, and then we pair it with other natural appetite suppressants like African mango, and we have that all in one product. So doing this naturally, elevating GLP-1 instead of kind of replacing GLP-1 can be beneficial in at least two different ways. Number one is it limits the side effects. Again, the major side effect with semaglutide drugs being this quote unquote gut paralysis. And number two, you're doing this naturally so there's less likelihood that you actually become dependent on taking the products to be successful in your weight loss long term. All right, I hope that was concise helpful to the point. And until next time, everybody stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll catch everyone in the next video.